It's the last Friday in August. A little change in routine and no protein coffee this morning. Enjoying a couple of cups of coffee and waiting for our breakfast. And I just keep it really simple and I focus on the protein. I always eat the eggs and the bacon first. And then I eat half of the potatoes and toast. It's a little bit of balance, but I always enjoy going out for this meal. We are doing a little bit of shopping today, but I also wanted to do a little bit of browsing, starting off at Michael's. Uh, just taking a little peek to see if there's any of the groovy pink and orange Halloween decor left. Um, I would say it's very unique. It is not my style. And I see that the skeletons are still here in their bubble bath. And a little bit more Halloween decor. None of it is really what I would, you know, use to decorate my home. But some of it is very cute. I have very minimal Halloween decor, but I cannot wait to get all of the fall stuff out. And this here is definitely what I would um, buy, like the little books with the witch's hat. Not too much new. I'm seeing all of the florals are out. But then I saw like this plant is here. What is this from? Little Shop of Horrors. These weren't here last time. Kind of cute, I guess, at your front door if you're having a Halloween party. A little bit more garland, some of the traditional Halloween decor. And then I saw all of this kind of like Victorian haunted house, like candle holders. The heads are off the birds. And then there's snakes and skulls. And it was, it was interesting to see it because I hadn't seen it before, but it was very like traditional. Um, you know, I enjoy romantic walks through haunted houses and I know a lot of people like, like the goth, there's the haunted house and it's just a little bit different. I actually love these boots with the little spider on here. Enter if you dare. And then I don't know, some of it was kind of like, eerie and spooky. I could see why people like it, but I like a little bit more of the traditional fall, but not too much has been purchased this year. There is a box of artificial artichokes on the shelf too. Not much has been uh, purchased here. So what is it? 50% off? Um, yeah, not a lot has been bought. I always love like the little animals, but when we walked into the store, you know, the big welcome, hi, how are you? And I said, is the Christmas stuff out? And they're like, yeah, the trees are in the back and there's a little bit out. And I'm like, I'm not surprised. You know, the fall stuff has been out for a while and that's just the way that retail works. I don't know. I just find the decor this year is not what it used to be from years ago. And the more that I look at all of these items, the more excited I am to get like my totes and my bins out to decorate. But I'm waiting until at least the middle of September and there it is. The only Christmas stuff they had out is like the Lennox Villages. I do like these, but the thoughts of like packing them up and storing them and putting them out every year, it definitely is a labor of love to do all of this. Um, I know as a child, I would have been so excited to see all of this set up and, you know, to have the display and the snow and the music and everything. but. On this hot August day, I really don't want to think about anything Christmas. All right, winter is now, and I'm looking in the plus section to see if there's any new pants. Not a lot. There's like one rack of clothes. I'm just trying to figure out what style I like to wear. I like a little bit more of a loose fit at the bottom. I used to go with the skinny legs. So I'm just trying to figure out like what style and what size works for me. So I'm going to try these on and see if they work. But I'm going to take a little bit of a look at some of the home decor. I'm kind of over it right now. It was all exciting to see this in like the end of July and the beginning of August, but right now I just, I cannot wait to get all of my items out. And I have like the perfect green blankets that I had in the spring, but there's a lot more here, but that's the thing. You can never find them when you're actually looking for them. They have more mushroom blankets, some tigers, a few little odds and ends here. Um, and then a few little towels here. They're kind of like mixed all over the place some fall items here, a little bit of Halloween. I have a few towels, but I keep it pretty simple in the kitchen because I'm always using them. And I thought these were kind of cute with the ghosts. And I've seen a lot of these stools on um, TikTok, like people looking for the food stools. This is the first time I've seen them. So I guess these are like sesame bagels. They're $60. There's like fruit ones and people are always looking looking for a certain one, but not really my style, but it was fun to see them. And a lot more Halloween stuff at Winners this year than fall. There's a sweet little Snoopy. I love Charlie Brown, but um, I'm going to leave Snoopy on that shelf and it's always cute to look. 
A lot of black, a lot of skulls. I'm noticing a lot of Hello Kitty this year too, but I don't really do a lot for Halloween anymore. When the kids were younger, I did, but I just stick to kind of fall and then I have very limited Halloween decor that I put out and it's just a few things that bring me a joy and I've had them for years. This little gnome is really, really cute, but where do you store it all year long? And look at the little fox with the glasses beside the pumpkins. I thought this was so sweet. I don't even remember what I have. I can't wait to pull it all out. And I definitely love like all of these little critters. They would be perfect on my bench, but honestly, I don't even remember what I have. I should take a little peek just to make sure that I do have something. Lots of pumpkins and turkeys and a turkey Hello Kitty kind of cute, kind of not, and then give thanks for all the gifts that surround you. Just some more little pumpkins and decorative stuff, and you know, over the years I would just, you know, buy more every year, of course Mickey and Minnie, but then eventually I just got to the point where there's certain stuff that I like. I actually bought these last year, so I should start thinking about getting them out. I just thought they were perfect for soup, and then I did see this one. I thought it was so pretty, but I just don't really feel like I would use it a lot. Oh, they had the little one at the bottom. I didn't even see that. The raids on the Happy Halloween, and then they have the Great Pumpkin, the four. These are kind of cute because they stack up so they would be easy to store, but I don't need any more of this stuff. A lot of Hello Kitty vampire juice. Um, yeah, I'm kind of overlooking at everything. I really just kind of want to get my stuff out, but they do have a large selection of tablecloths. The sunflower one that I have out now, I really, really like it, but it has to be iron, but a lot of these are just wash and you can put them on the table. So um, they always have a nice selection of white dishes here, but I don't need anything. All of the pumpkin syrups. I did get like a pumpkin chai. They have the pumpkin pecan waffles, the maple, the pumpkin spice, all sorts of them. Um, I'm just really not into them that much. And then they have a lot of teas also. Here I am in the changing room. I got my black blouse on and I got these jeans a couple of weeks ago. They're two sizes smaller than what I normally buy at Winners. I was so surprised when I tried them on, but I really do like the look and the feel of them. So they had these ones in the same size, actually it was the only jeans they had. So I tried them on, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I do like the fit. Um, they're a little bit snug when I first put them on, but then they loosen up as the day goes on. And my goal, I'd love to just be out of plus size clothes. And even if I'm in the biggest size of regular clothes, that's what I would love to do in the future. But anyways, we're at the checkout right now and I'm just over all of the pumpkin spice and the candles and looking at everything in the store. I want to get my stuff out in my basement and just enjoy it. But I love the peanuts coffee the packaging. I don't know if the coffee is any good, but the packaging is A++. And all of these candles here are so beautiful, but I know I have candles at home and I don't need to purchase anything. And there's a few little critters up here that are absolutely adorable. A couple of signs, some more candles. I saw this little guy. I thought he was really cute. I wish the acorn was kind of in front of him instead of over his head, but it did bring a little smile to my face. And you can even get your turkey brine kit here but I am ready to get all of my fall stuff out. Now it's Hubby's turn. Uh, he saw that there's t-shirts on sale at Mark 60% off. These were on for $12. I used to get a lot of really cool like vintage t-shirts for him over the years at thrifting and I just can't find anything anymore. So we looked online, they had a Tragically Hip one. Of course they didn't have it in store. So we decided to go with a Beatles one and then they had Levi's t-shirts on sale too. They were for $15. They were a lot better quality, so we grabbed a couple of them and then he needed some jeans. He went up a size in jeans and now he's back into the same size that he wore for years, so these were 40% off. And look at look at all the variety that men have to choose from. And I have like one rack that I look at at uh, the store, but anyways, the copper socks were on sale for 30% off too. These are the only socks that he likes to wear, so it was a great time to stock up. And the great thing is while we were doing a little bit of shopping, somebody else was doing our grocery shopping and we're just getting our Walmart pickup order so I have everything ready. Couple of bins, I just ordered what I needed, but I needed some totes, I needed dog food laundry detergent, all of that, and they came out, loaded everything up, 
And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it is all done. And then we stopped at the farmer's stand. I did get a couple of things of elbow macaroni. I can't make it as good as this. So they were on sale. So I got two smaller ones. And then we got fresh local strawberries. They always have a late batch. They're not as good as the ones like in June and July, but we're still gonna enjoy them before we go back to the grocery store ones. Then I got half a dozen sweet corn. It's definitely more than half a dozen, but I got it all cleaned up and ready to go. We are gonna do ribs and then the macaroni salad. And then I made homemade baked beans there in the freezer. So I'll be able to pull them out. And then I got these two totes here to pack up the rest of the summer pillows and blankets. And then I have one other tote that's just white. And then I have a banker box for all of my Canada Day decor. So I put everything right beside my fall and Halloween. I just use recipe cards and scotch tape to kind of label everything. The white pillows and the white table runner I can use all year long. And then the sunflower stuff is empty. It'll get packed away. And then it will be time to bring out the fall stuff. I actually think I'm going to bring it out a little bit earlier. I usually wait until the first day of fall, but I'm thinking for maybe September the 15th. So we will wait and see. I have some bookcases and shelves where I keep a lot of glassware and then I just got some of the fall items out and I got these last year and they were perfect for lunch like having a bowl of soup and then I have my right done mugs. That's a floral display. It was a five dollar goodwill challenge from years ago from Hillary of Old World Home but I still pull it out every year. I love it and then I did get out what fall candles I have from Bath and Body Works. I don't like burn candles like I used to and I got this candle holder years ago on clearance I think it was like three dollars but I loved it so I got all of that ready to go and I'm excited about it and then I looked up and then all of the stuff I had for the tiered tray I don't even remember what I have so I should take a little peek just to make sure that I don't need anything else and maybe get it before it's picked over but anyways um we finished the puzzle yesterday it was hard to get started but once we got started it went really well i did this little corner here andrew did all of the building here on the roof and it was really enjoyable um, the quilts were really good too and we loved it so what i'm going to do is we're going to take all of the edge pieces put them into a little ziploc and pack it away do it next year and now we are going to do this puzzle i love it the 275 pieces this one's a little bit easier to do but we really did enjoy it. But anyways, here it is, the last little bit of August. I cannot wait till this is all orange and red and just absolutely beautiful. You can see already that some of the colors are starting to peek in and I just absolutely cannot wait, but I'm gonna enjoy the last weekend in August and I can't wait to see you all in September for lots of fall fun.